Climate change and abrupt climate change are two outcomes or consequences or symptoms of civilization. So when the, temp when the global average temperature goes up another degree or two, none of these trees are going to be alive. During the 265 years, the global average temperature rose one degree Celsius. And in the next four months, it, raised a, it increased an additional 0.57 degrees Celsius. I think we're heading to a future with a considerably greater warming than two degrees. A lot of people will suffer and a lot of people will die. The planet will shake us off like a bad case of fleas. A surface nuisance. The planet isn't going anywhere. We are. Relatively minor changes in atmospheric chemistry will push us out of the habitable zone. But we haven't made minor changes in atmospheric chemistry on this planet. We've made major changes. Leave nature alone. Haven't we done enough? Unless the world changes course quickly and dram dramatically, the fundamental systems that support human civilization are at risk. When I realized we had triggered events that moved us beyond human control and would lead to our extinction in the not very distant future. There are three things which unequivocally and absolutely guarantee near-term extinction of the human species and quite possibly all life on the planet. Now, the first of these is global warming and climate chaos caused by human industrial activity, a.k.a. infinite growth. Of a, cer uh, of a certainty, a four to six degree centigrade temperature increase is in the very near future. And by what is now not an extreme calculation, the last of our species should be gone by 2030. Uh, it may very well happen much sooner than that. But there's a third element that triply seals our fate. It's called exponential growth. Human population has since doubled in less than 20 years. With enough resources, it would double again in less than 15, but we can clearly see that the Petri dish is full. Look around. The carnage that is human industrial civilization continues absolutely unabated and unrestrained. Tens of thousands of coal-fired generating plants continue to operate around the world. Tens of thousands of natural gas-fired plants using fracked gas continue to destroy water tables, cause earthquakes, and add to the ever-increasing amounts of carbon being released into the atmosphere. Factories and corporations required to show growth and profit continue to churn out cars and TVs and cell phones and junk, all wrapped in plastic which will last about as long as the radioactive waste. Absolutely nothing has been or is being done about the things that are really killing us, and not just us, but every living thing on the planet. I'm ready to almost strangle the next person who starts any sentence with, we could.